Hello, 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 and welcome back to Hunter Tuned. Today, I actually mounted up my tires for my Mustang. I got these studded tires all mounted. There we go, and uh, they're all leaked. Uh, they all leaked out already, so they didn't work. You know, the flex seal and the drywall screws don't work. Just kidding, they all hold air good. Uh, I got 45 pounds in all of them, and uh, they're not leaking, so that's cool. And I uh, figured I would kind of show you guys in the daytime here uh, what the drag strip looks like. Uh, we did plow our own ice drag strip. I think I'm going to call it Wisconsin International Speedway. Or Wisconsin Motor Speedway or something like that. Just as a joke. I'm crawling on my roof right now so I can get a camera angle here. Just fucking mint. It's actually not that windy today, so I can film out here because uh, normally uh, it gets really windy out on the lake and uh, you can't hear anything because of the wind noise. And yesterday was super windy and like I can't catch a break with fucking uh, having time to film. And bro, where's the Honda content? Oh my God, it's been like a week. Well, uh, I don't know if a lot of you understand, but I do live in Wisconsin. I'm on a frozen lake right now. That's how cold it is here. And uh, I don't really have a, a insulated garage or uh, anything. <laughs> um, and it's been cold and snowing literally every day or like every other day it's been snowing and we've just been, we've been getting a lot of snow and a lot of cold weather and I've been bombarded with injector orders. So I've been extremely busy other than making videos right now. So. I apologize for any delay on injector orders right now because I'm currently backed up um, a little bit and I can't get the orders out fast enough. Let's take a ride down the track. I think the right lane is okay. This one is decent. Still bumpy. Still bumpy. So we ended up plowing another lane next to the lanes that we already have. And uh, this new lane that we have actually isn't too bad. Um, it's a lot smoother than the other two lanes. Uh, so I'm thinking that that's gonna work out pretty damn good. So um, as you guys could probably see on the way back there, uh, the lane was a lot smoother than the first lane that I went down. So I'm hoping that we can do this and this is all gonna work out, so. Oh my god, there's a Honda, I'm driving a Honda, I'm taking the CRX out to uh, the storage unit so I can grab my Mustang. It is currently like 5.20, 5.30 almost, and uh, the sun is pretty much setting. And I gotta get my Mustang back to my house with no headlights. Oops. So I'm trying to hurry here, cracking all the VTEC I can. So I get the car back home and then we can get it ready to go ice racing. Uh, you guys should go blow Brent and PFI and Booster Boys and Cletus and all these guys up. Go blow them up and tell them to come drag racing on my track. I think that would be epic. Brent uh, commented on my status and he just said like, you're making me think we need to head up that way. So if that would happen, that would be like just such a blessing, man. It would be a dream come true if those guys would come up here and ice race. Old Wisconsin style. Um... Uh, I don't know anybody else doing this other than Merrill, uh, and Merrill actually closed ice, ice racing last weekend, but we got plenty of winter left. Um, oh, yeah, so we are uh, heading to the unit. I'm going to crack some VTEC for you guys, because uh, I know y'all are missing the Honda content, and I'm missing Honda stuff too, 
Uh, it's just been cold and I haven't had space or anything to work. And I'm waiting on a lot of stuff for my uh, EK. I'm waiting on my block to get back from getting decked and I have to get a cylinder head resurfaced and uh, valve train and stuff for that. And I've been putting all that stuff off because of the dyno. Uh, that has been like a huge, huge uh, time consumer lately with uh, trying to get that situation uh, done. Hang on. storage unit place is all booked up currently so I don't have another spot to get a unit uh, like I wanted to so that really sucks uh, Michael might have to move his car or something so we have a place to put the dyno I'm not sure so anyways I'm gonna get the Mustang quit fucking blabbing here uh, hopefully a lot of this stuff makes sense guys I feel like I'm talking and not of it. none of it's making sense but that's how I feel sometimes um, but anyways trying to get the drag strip done it's still really bumpy, but it'll do. Uh, we'll make do with it. Had to put some gloves on, guys. Freezing my nuts off out here. Um, I got the Civic, whoop, almost fucking biffed it. It's getting dark, I gotta hurry. I uh, got the Mustang running, it's out here idling. And uh, the Honda is also running. 
I'm gonna pull this back in and then drive the Mustang home. Hopefully we have enough daylight here. All right guys, we are driving the Mustang from the storage unit back to my house. out of the water box or out of the burnout the car would die because I did not have the adaptive idle uh, set high enough so it wouldn't catch itself but now it catches itself and everything is good to go and we got 40 pounds oil pressure and 180 degree cooling temp so we are looking styling now we just gotta make it like five miles to my house. And not go in the ditch in the process because of the snow on the road. It's actually pretty damn dry out. So I wouldn't really worry about any of that. Figure I'll kick that second fuel pump on and do a little pull. Why not, right? Middle of fucking February, driving my nine second Mustang. What's up with that? It literally just annihilates the tires though, so I'm just gonna like give it a little boost so you can hear it maybe. <laughs> yeah, buddy. This thing actually lights pretty fast. My buddy was telling me, he's like, oh dude, that turbo lakes so much. And it's like, dude, I'm in third gear right now. And I just floored it and it came right up to like 10 pounds. All right guys, so we are back in the garage now and uh, sorry the air compressor is currently on because, well, I got the tires mounted on the um, wheels for the Mustang and um, these wheels have a smaller hub centric ring or hub center than the Mustang accommodates. So I'm actually grinding out the hub, cent uh, the hub center on them. I'm not really worried about balancing these fucking things because clearly they have a million screws in them and they wouldn't balance out anyways. Um, so I'm just grinding out the uh, hubs on the two front tires because uh, the hub is actually very large on the front of my Mustang. So I have to grind them out a little bit. And um, the rears, I should just be able to run a really small spacer and accommodate that. So I do have some spacers sitting up here um, that should work, I'm assuming. So. I'll just have to uh, make sure that those work. I have no idea if they're going to or not, but we'll see. Um, if not, I'll have to grind out all of them. I would just prefer to only grind two, the two fronts or whatever. Um, but anyways, I've been super busy tonight again. Um, it, I, I don't like mean to like complain because I'm not complaining whatsoever. Um, I'm just letting you guys know that the videos lack more often when I'm busy. So like if I have a lot of stuff going on, like like I, I can't even remember all the stuff I've done in the last couple days because I've just been thrashing. Uh, but like just for an example, like these injectors are the orders that I've gotten just over this weekend. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of injectors um, just from the weekend here. So I've been catching up on injector orders and catching up on 
Uh, the motor build, the A6 is now gone, so we have the D16 that I did for a customer that is, he picked that up over the weekend. Um, I have uh, been trying to do this drag strip, and I've been trying to get the dyno home, and a lot of this other stuff that's just kind of interfering with a lot of other stuff that I'm doing. So, anyways, the uh, it just sucks because, like, I was supposed to have a guy come out and replow the track today, and he bailed on me, so, like, he, I don't know, it's, in the dyno, I've been trying to get, like, a truck and trailer so I can haul it over to Hasport, and then I couldn't find anybody, or people said they would, and then they couldn't, or whatever the case may be, and then I get it over there, and I schedule a pickup twice now. This is the second time I've scheduled a pickup for the dyno, and it wasn't able to be picked up, so I had the dyno scheduled to be picked up today um, from Hasport down in Arizona where Chris Sadowski works and I guess I, I told him in advance when it was going to be picked up and it just sucks because uh, the pallet that it was on was not big enough or something so um, now I have to pay another round I have to pay another fee for the shipping because it was delayed or not ready to be picked up I have to pay another fee because it wasn't ready and it just sucks sometimes relying on others to get something done for you you know what i mean so it's just a sense of like i want to buy a plow truck now because i can't find anybody to plow this track and i've been you know i've had a hundred people say they can and then when it comes down to brass tacks they can't i've had one really good friend of mine help me out when he is available uh which is greatly appreciated he's actually the only one that's been plowing for me and he works a normal job and has a bunch of stuff of his own going on and still makes time to go help me out. So that's great. Um, but, I mean, all the others that I've been trying to contact, like, nobody's getting a hold of me and whatever. I mean, it just sucks because, like, sometimes money's not even enough to get somebody to help you out. Um, and like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm not I'm not saying that people need, uh, need to help me or anything. It just sucks sometimes that... Um, I don't even know where I'm going with this, honestly. It's just, uh, you know, it's best to just get it done on your own, figure it out on your own kind of thing, and do whatever you can uh, to make something happen. Uh, some stories with the dyno is I actually had to call a tow company because Chris said he couldn't find a trailer and uh, he couldn't find a way to transport it from the guy's house to Hasport, so I actually called a uh, towing company down in Arizona there and I ended up getting a flatbed truck from a tow company to flatbed it from the guy's house to Hasport and Hasport said they could load it onto the semi um, because they have a forklift and whatever so uh, but then the semi came to pick it up this morning and it was not able to be picked up because it was not a pallet or something I don't know so it just it's just kind of annoying to me because by the end of this, I'm going to have more money into it than I originally intended, and I should have just went with one of you guys that came, reached out to me and said, hey, I'll pick the dyno up for like a thousand bucks and deliver it to you. I should have just went with something like that instead of waiting like a month, literally a month, to get somebody else to help me and whatever, because it's just been a pain in my ass, and it's been extremely stressful. So, yeah, and like I said, with the plowing and then my truck fucking died the other day like I just have everything going wrong lately uh, but whatever hopefully some good is in my future and um, we can get some uh, more injector orders coming in and some more money flowing in so we can get a place for the dyno um, you know like I said earlier is the storage unit set up not working out because they're we're fucking booked up and I didn't know that so that that's another fucking downside um, I don't know I have uh, all these injector orders and then I have a LS computer that I just flashed and I've been doing all that and blah whatever whatever blah 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 blah, blah. fucking blabby McRambleson here uh, anyways that's gonna be it for this video guys hopefully you got a little update on the drag strip that we're doing Got a little bit of Honda content and got a little reasoning behind why I've been slacking on the Honda content. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get a damn title for the CRX and the guy's not responding to me. and That's a whole nother headache. That's a whole nother can of worms. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great night and we will see you tomorrow.